Hello and welcome to the quick start for Open Roads Designer Geometry. In this course, you're going to learn how to create a horizontal and vertical alignment using the Open Roads Designer Geometry tools. You're going to learn how to create, edit, and annotate, as well as review the geometric elements. We're also going to learn how to attach an existing terrain model and aerial imagery, as well as define 2D and 3D views. The horizontal and vertical alignments that you're going to be creating are now shown on my screen. And we're going to be creating the horizontal alignment for this particular roadway here. This is named London Road, as you can see in the 2D plan view. And we'll be creating the vertical alignment for it as well for London Road, which is shown down here in view number four. So as we go through this course, we'll show you how to create those geometric elements. And we're first going to get started with exercise number one. In exercise number one, you're going to learn how to create a new DGN file and also review the ribbon interface. Okay, the first thing we need to do for exercise number one is we need to create a new 2D DGN file. Whenever we're working with Open Roads Designer Geometry, we always want to start in 2D. So I'm going to come over here and start the software. When the software first opens, you're going to be at the welcome screen. And on the welcome screen here, we have three areas that I want to point out to you. Over here on the left-hand side, we have access to some example videos and example DGN files that are delivered with the software. In the middle portion of the screen here, we have access to learning content. Then over here on the right-hand side, we have access to Bentley forums and communities, posts and news and announcements. So to begin, begin our session, to create a new DGN file, we want to go over here and say start a work session. That's going to bring us to the work session page. And on the work session page, this is where we need to specify our workspace and our work set. And a workspace and work set basically define the standards that are going to be used by the software as we're working. And they're already delivered and set up for you for this particular training course. So the first thing I want to do is come up here and set my workspace. We're going to be using training and examples. And then under the work set, we're going to be using training imperial. So also notice here we have the ability to browse to existing DGN files as well as create new DGN file. So I'm going to come over here and we're going to create a new DGN file. And since we're going to be creating geometry, we're going to call this file geometry. All our geometry will be stored inside of this file. And we want to make sure we pick the 2D seed 2D Imperial Training DGN file because we're going to be working in 2D. I also want to save this over to my Quick Start for Open Roads Designer folder. So I'm going to click Save. And once we do that, you'll see that the uh, the geometry DGN file is now active and open. So one thing you're going to notice inside of Open Roads Designer here is we have a uh, we have the, a ribbon type of interface. Basically, what that means is we have these ribbon tabs up at the top of the screen here, and each one of these tabs has a different set of tools in them related to the uh, the ribbon tab name. There's also uh, workflows here that you can you can pick to change the uh, different tools that you may want to use. So for our example, we're just going to be using the Open Roads modeling workflow. And that's going to give us access to the geometry tools. Now one other thing that we I want to point out here is that when we go over to the, the file button here, that brings us to what we call the backstage view. And over here in the backstage view, we have some important settings that you may want to uh, to use as you're moving along through the design process. I'm going to come over here to settings, and you can see here we have things like AccuDraw settings, button assignments. We have our user preferences down here. And under file, we have design file settings, color table, things of that nature that you may uh, want to use. And to get back to our main drawing screen, all we have to do is press this left arrow up here at the top of the screen and that brings us back to the main screen. 
I also have some other commonly used tools up here such as save, save settings, undo, redo, print. There's also a search ribbon tool available so if you're not sure of where a particular tool is you can come on over here and key in the tool name or a particular function that you're looking for. I'm going to come over here and use an arc as an example and you'll see once I key an arc you'll see it'll give me a bunch of results for anything that's related to an arc. So if I click on one of these, say for instance if I hover over arc between elements it shows me the name of the tool and it also shows me where it's located. In addition to that if I click on this the very top arc between points it'll actually launch the command and open the tool for me. So just some handy things here about the uh, ribbon interface before we get started. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.